Hello and welcome back to uh, XTOM. This is part three of uh, my playthrough of The Long War. And uh, I have uh, discovered a... This looks very much like an alien supply barge. So it's day, I don't know, seven or eight of the campaign, maybe not even that. Uh, and I've got a supply barge to fight. Now, this is a little bit terrifying because in the base game, a supply barge is going to be equipped with mutons, cyber disks, at the very least, sectoid commanders, ethereals, something terrifying is is always in chrysalids, lots of them, in, uh, in a supply barge, and the long war is going to be worse, because, you know, it's the long war, so I'm terrified, um, I don't know if I've just got really unlucky, um, or if this is like a a uh, scripted event that just happens you get a supply barge to teach you like not to mess with the aliens or something I don't know um, but since I'm trying to play the game okay. um, you know without too many preconceptions I haven't gone and looked that up um, so yeah we're just gonna see how this goes um, but yeah I'm scared so what I'm gonna do is send one guy here to watch the back of the barge see if anyone just charges out I'm gonna send the rest of the team up here because I want to try and get up the ladders on the side and onto the roof. Um, that way I'm hoping I can get a little bit of scouting and maybe um, maybe aggro a couple of groups so that I can sort of catch in some some poor terrain. We'll see how this goes. So I'm kind of hoping it looks like there's no one outside so I'm just going to rush everyone up here. We're going to get on the roof as quickly as we can and then um, we're going to see what we can see I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm more than a little bit apprehensive so we may we may look to retreat um potentially um but uh, yeah if we lose i think we'll, we'll generally aim if we lose two guys we're, we're just going to try and get out but um uh we'll just try and salvage what we can out of the mission if that happens um and i i have the feeling that 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 is what's going to happen here um yeah I just real feel like maybe um, I need a lot of gear that I just don't have and, and soldiers with a lot better aim that I just don't have at this point to take on a supply barge. Um, looks like we got milled that way. So it'd be nice to be out there if nothing else grabs some milled out of this mission, but um, yeah, we'll take it one thing at a time, I think. So up onto the roof, make sure there's no one up there. Okay. So you can see these pods here, um, supply barge roofs have high cover, which is why that's really where I want to be. That's low cover, but these these are all high cover, so if we can get up there, um, we should be reasonably defended from any enemies and it should charge us, and hopefully we'll be able to, I don't know, sucker out some sex, some um, some floaters or something. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just move you down this way, you can come with us since no one's popped out there first turn at least. Um, I don't know in the long war how good the aliens are at like hearing you and coming to find you or anything like that. I suspect that they just, you know, they just rove around in packs like in the base game and if you don't trigger them then they, they don't come find you or anything. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen here because if they come and hunt me down I've only got six guys and I'm, I'm imagining that there is a lot more than six guys on this boat. Um, Yep. I should really have someone on Overwatch or something here, but but I don't. But you know, it doesn't seem like there's anyone on the roof just yet. If they pop up, we should be able to blast them before they get a chance to kill us. Alright, so what have we got? Can we hear anything? That's a chrysalid. I don't think we're alone out here. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Mm, I don't know. That might have been... That's something with Psy powers, potentially, so... Maybe Sectoids. No, it didn't sound like Sectoids. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, this... Okay, whatever. We got this. It'll be fine. Right. Just get our guys into defensive positions and just, just push up. Um, just, just push up and hope that we don't run into any nasties. Well, 
rather that we do but we run into them a few at a time rather than buckets and buckets of them okay so we've managed to take the roof fine um, and I don't think any aliens have found us out yet so that's a definite positive alright anyone else? Troy, why didn't you overwatch? Oh, you can't overwatch, right? Okay, you can steady. Okay, that's that's floaters. And that's drones. Did they see us? No? Ooh, we got meld down that way as well. Okay, so we've got some drones down here and some meld down this way somewhere. That could be fun. If we just... We might... The, the, the map doesn't go very far this way, so either that meld is inside the building here, in which case I'm stuffed, or it's just sitting... Just sitting just down there somewhere, and I might be able to pick up a meld container. Excellent. Sounds like there's some just... Okay. I don't know where. Somewhere there. So maybe we'll be able to drop a guy down there and pick that up, which will be handy. Because uh, if nothing else, it'll mean we've got some meld out of this mission if we can just make a run for it. Um, I might look at actually saving the game at some point too. I know it's a little bit wimpy, but... Um, I feel like... I feel like I'm probably not a good enough player to try and play this entire game without um, without intermediate saves. Uh, I am a famous save scummer in basically every game, and I don't expect XCOM to be any different. Um, you know, I mean, I, I played a lot of Enemy Within and Enemy Unknown without saves, but um, you know, this is this is another thing, and I'm playing on a higher difficulty level than I would normally like to play. Ooh, definitely steady. Come on, get into good habits. Steady the weapons. Running. Alright, what do we got? Are those drones gonna pop up? We can take some drones. Ooh. those drones again. So they're just patrolling up and down. So McDonald, what do you got? Ah, oh, there's that melt, see? Just there. So if we drop down to that spot, hope there's no enemies just standing here. Yeah, free meld. Okay. Then we can just jump back up on the roof. Mm, it's not really safe. We can just overwatch right there. Okay. Okay. I haven't seen anyone yet. We know those drones are just there. We don't really want to trigger them though. I mean... Uh, where do we put a sniper? Maybe there. See, we've got all the high defensive positions already. Except that they're going to come from the outside. So we want to be at a close... Be, be close so that we can rotate around and get into this safe spot if we need it. So... Here we go. What have we got coming? Floaters? Somewhere? I don't know what that is. Okay, so, well, we've, if nothing else, we've grabbed us a little bit of meld. Uh, so that's a definite positive. I'm just going to go right ahead and save it here, because I am terrified. Like we've, we've so far seen one mob, we've heard some chrysalids, we've heard some floaters, we've heard something else that I can't quite identify. So, there are a lot, a lot of enemies out there. What happens if we just duck up to here? 
Got something over here. Uh, we got chrysalids. Okay. We got lots of chrysalids. But they're all in the same spot, so... We might be able to grenade them. Although my heal is in the middle there, so... That's not great. We're going to have to kill all four of these guys. Um, we should be should be okay if we brought enough grenades. Remem On my way. Okay, you still... Yeah. Okay, no, we already used Ned this turn, so... We've got four shots. And we've, we've got to kill four. Oh gosh. Okay. So we're just going to drop a grenade right in the middle. and you, This is our chance to see how much damage a grenade in the middle of a group of chrysalids actually does. But I feel like they're perfectly positioned to be grenaded there, so that's really quite handy. I don't know if the damage works, like, exactly on proximity or it's proximity and randomness or something. But you see, we only did two to that, but we did heaps to those guys. Okay, drop another one in there, maybe go a little bit closer to this way, oh I hate the aiming on the grenades in this game, make up your mind, I'm not moving the mouse, come on, ugh, okay we've killed one, and there's kill one these guys are all looking reasonably injured so what else can we drop in here we've got another grenade uh, it's not a, you're not in a great spot you got a grenade yes okay I'm a bit worried I'm using all my grenades on this one mob but okay see what we can kill okay they're all down Whew. Okay, okay, so we've killed four chrysalids and everyone is untouched, but we've spent three grenades. That's, that's pretty positive. We'll take this. Alright. We're just going to save because I'm terrified. Now what? We killed all those chrysalids. Did we just drop back to that spot and see what happens? Heading out. Can't see anything else. We'll just over overwatch there. Sure, why not? Seems like we've got a position down here where we know those drones are, so eventually, sooner or later, we're going to trigger them if they come around again. So if nothing else, we'll be able to sucker some drones. Which is a definite positive. So we'll just send all the guys we possibly can out there to Overwatch and we'll kill ourselves some drones. Okay. On the move. So far, this has gone really quite well. Okay, and you can just. Hmm, this side. Alright. So now we're going to play a little bit of a waiting game because we know we're going to get some drones eventually. Like the the um the patrol, like alien patrols, just go round and round and round. So we know the drones go down to that spot down by that white dot on the ground. So we wait a few turns. We don't even have to wait a few turns, don't? Did they see us? Doesn't look like they did see us. So we'll just full Overwatch again. Okay, see if they come after us this time. Still just sitting there. Oh, that's frustrating, guys, come on. I mean, I, I'm, I'm told every time I play XCOM that I'm just too... Um, too aggressive, because I can't wait, I'm not patient enough, right? So I just, I'm just trying to learn to be patient, because if I'm not, I'm going to wind up dead. Okay, now we got drones. Okay, we got one dead. And 
three alive. Two alive? Everyone misses all their reaction shots. Okay, looks like two alive. So that's fine. Unless there was a fourth one there that I just didn't see. Okay, we're nice and close there, so we've actually been flanked. But I think we should better just kill that off. Yeah, nice. Now the risk is that there was a fourth one that we just didn't see there, so... I guess we can't do much but sit on Overwatch at this point. Thing was steady, the sniper. Seems like good practice. Alright, so we killed three drones, four chrysalids, and the team is undamaged. This is looking really good. This is looking really strong. Oh, there is another drone. Oh, we got it. Good. I thought there was a fourth one. I was, was pretty sure I'd seen one. Okay. So that's all the enemies we know about. We'll take this opportunity to reload, I think. So who's who hasn't fired? Pretty much everyone's fired at this point. I've got the sniper on Overwatch to cover us. Oh, he hasn't, he hasn't fired, so we'll put... If we drop this guy back here, he can... Wozniecki can reload. Okay, Chang Li can come forward to the front position, so he's got the most coverage and Overwatch. And then these guys can just... Oh, no, these guys can just reload. We can need reload. a needle. I feel like we're going to need a lot of bullets here. We're green to go. Okay, what do we got? There's something out there. Something out there. That's floaters. So we've still got at least one group of floaters. I can't see, I can't hear what that is. Okay, so... We're a bit of an awkward situation because there's this big dark patch here. There's, there's always... There's always enemies in this sort of area on these maps, and they're like cyber discs or mutons or something nasty, you know? Something you don't want to meet. Just in the street. Oh, that rhymes. Um, okay, so I don't know what to do. I could just wander out to the edge, I suppose. See if we can see anything. Can't see anything just there. I guess we overwatch. Okay, we might do the same on the other side. Send our medic out. Down this way. See if we can just... Oh, now we've got to go on the edge. If they do activate, he's sitting duck. Yeah, I shouldn't have pressed overwatch yet. No, it's fine. Okay. So we're just going to overwatch everyone and hope that we get some more of these suckers just dancing into our uh, into our vision. And it doesn't seem like they're you know seeking us out or anything so we should probably not expect to see any coming behind us on the roof which is probably just as well because I don't really want to deal with getting it done. enemies on the roof. Okay. What do we got? I can definitely hear floaters. I can't hear anything else. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Alright, here's the plan. I'm going to drop McDonald down here. If he sees enemies this way, these guys can all overwatch or something and he can just like make a run for it. Yeah, let's try that. Really wish I'd brought like battle scanners or something. Okay, I haven't seen anything. I think our best bet is probably still to duck down. Just duck straight down there. Keep him safe. Okay, Overwatchers. Those two guys are definitely Overwatchers. Wisniewski. Wisniewski? Mm, I don't know. Okay, because if, if he triggers enemies, 
okay, then these guys are going to be perfectly placed to overwatch them. So I think actually we're just going to we're going to sit him on overwatch. Okay, so we're going to get as many guys out on the edge as, as we can. She's useless there, so we're just going to leave her behind. I love snipers, but it's not really the situation for them. Okay, so the hope is that, that someone's going to trigger something here. I'm on it, Commander. And that just all these guys are going to overwatch the pants off them. Oh, floaters. Definitely yeah. heard them back behind us. But... Oh, they could, e they could easily be in the building. Okay, so McDonald... McDonald just jumps up to there. He's, he's surely he's gonna trigger something. They're holding tanks of some kind. Oh, yeah, okay. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects alive. Okay, so we've got a guy down there. And we'll just do the Overwatch thing again. I know it's I know it's not actually that exciting to watch, guys, if you are if you've bothered to watch this far. But um I think it's necessary. I'm really I, I can hear so many bad guys and And I don't really want to lose Ned McDonald. I mean he's he's the spirit of Australia. Okay. Nothing yet. How about if we duck over this door? Nothing. Okay. Um, what next? My heel? You want to give it a try? Moving. Time to kick this oh, sucker. Oh, up. we've got. Oh, we've just got four, five, six outsiders. Oh, come on, that's insane. <laughs> okay. Um. No, nah, we can't. We can't. Okay, guys. Now nah, we're running. Like, we can't beat. We can't beat six outsiders. It's just not possible with this team like I've been struggling to take down one outsider um now we're gonna make a run for it okay so we're just gonna we're just gonna bug out and hope that having killed a couple of guys we get we get something out of this mission uh so we're just gonna these guys are gonna cover our exit okay and we're just gonna make make a run for it because there's no way um Outsiders. I mean, we met them on the on on the earlier mission. Um, they heal, you know. So, and there's six of them. Like, and they've got good aim. They've got good weaponry. There's no way. There's no way that we're we're beating outsiders. It's just not going to happen. So, we're just going to get the heck out before we get killed. I don't want to die. I don't want to lose all my guys. Um, and I don't want to lose my Sky Ranger. Um, do you lose your Sky Ranger in this? No, I think that was original XCOM. I think the yeah, Sky Ranger just leaks without any air team. All right, so I know this room is full of outsiders. They could be coming this way, so this medic could be boned. Mind you, if he's boned, like we've got to get to the exit. Okay, McDonald made it still, so let's get my heal. Okay, we're just gonna make a run down now. this way and if we meet those floaters like on this side we are in some serious trouble okay so we're gonna have to cross the main entrance here unless we get up on the roof again no we're just gonna make a run for it come on I'm getting out of here I'm sorry guys I know you would have loved to see me complete this mission if I I'm gonna go look it up afterwards uh, and if I find out that um, it's actually possible to win like that a mission like this is supposed to happen and that it's actually possible to win it um, well I guess we'll know for next time but I think we're just gonna take this as a bit of a lesson that the long war 
there are going to be missions you can't win. Okay, like that's the sort of part of the idea. So we're just going to go with that and pretend that this is one of those life lessons. Because I am terrified of six outsiders. That's just stupid. I wouldn't... Gee, I don't want to fight that many outsiders until I've at least got like plasma weaponry and some guys that can shoot half straight. Like, there's no way with a bunch of rookies or specialists or whatever these guys are that they've got any chance. Okay. Can still hear floaters, but I haven't seen any yet. Okay. Uh, so I think we want to get our guys set up here to cover anyone that comes rushing out of this entrance because yeah that's okay Choi so she's there she's her sniper she can cover us if we get in trouble until then we can just hunker down there's Nikki where is the other cover around here you can just get there and hunker down. Okay, so we've got two guys here to cover the entrance. If any of those outsiders decide to charge out there, we're going to have half a chance of fighting them off. I mean, I can fight one. I can probably fight a couple of outsiders. Um, I'm just not totally convinced that I can fight six. In fact, I know I can't fight six. I've only got six guys. Um, and it's my last game. I don't know if I've fought in outsiders in this game, actually. In my last game, I had serious trouble killing outsiders. Um, Already there. They're just, they're just a bit tougher than I am, I think. And who knows what else is on this. Like, we didn't even get to the, the, um, the bridge of this ship. So, that's not the scariest thing on this boat. And I'm terrified. Um, the mobs in this game, I tell you. That's just cray cray. That means crazy. Okay, so we're going to make a run for it. We've grabbed some mills. We've killed a few things. We're going to get something out of this mission, I'm hoping. And yeah, we're just going to run. I'm sorry. It makes me feel like such a coward, but... I think that's just what you need to do. And hopefully we don't lose Australia because of the terror or something. That would be really sad. hear them moving around inside. Can you hear them? <sighs> okay, where can you go that's even moderately in cover here? So oh, yuck. This guy, on the move. she's going to sit on the roof, and I'm hoping that she can give me more cover if the outsiders decide to just charge out that way. That's the plan. We're just setting up a line of defense so we can try and get those other two guys from the other side of the boat. We should have taken them over the top. That was silly. I can't believe we didn't, actually. I'm feeling a bit dumb. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to try and... Uh, make a bit of a line of defense in case because I can hear them moving around in there they're, they're, they're probably going to come charge out the entrance at some point I don't know man, maybe they're hey, I mean if we get here and we kill, manage to just like fluke killing a few of them um Maybe we'll maybe we'll reconsider running out on this mission, but uh, yeah. Jeez, are you crazy? I mean, it seems really wimpy to be ducking out on a mission where I've got. I mean, I haven't taken I haven't taken a hit, have I? No, I don't think I've taken a hit at all. So yeah, we're just going to stay hunkered down here. That does not feel safe going across that entrance. So, I mean, we know they're in there, somewhere.
Well done. Alright. I've decided we're pulling out. I think I heard something. Oh man, the tension. I don't think I can play this game. Um, well, long war. This is going to be serious, guys. Um, I hope you do. Oh, oh, we've got... Enemies close. Oh gosh. I'm hearing like two or three mods still. Oh, 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 we got someone. Yeah, okay, so the outsiders are behind us. They've come around that side. That's great. So we're gonna just make a sprint for it. See what else we see. Nothing. Great. Don't suppose you can see anything, Snipey McSnipe Snipe. Nope. Okay. Oh, because we moved our only guy that could see anything. Okay. Um, Mahil can't get to cover. He can get to that cover. That's going to be the best we got. Okay, so everyone just... No, actually, I want to make sure everyone's one move to the exit. So if we need to, we can just run out. Yep, okay. Good. So yeah, we're just going to overwatch all these guys. And if that, if that, if that guy shows his face, we're just going to shoot him. And worst comes to worst, we're going to lose one, two guys. I don't think I've ever had to run away on a mission in XCOM before. This just shows I haven't been playing on high enough difficulty, right? I think um, Long War is going to challenge us here, guys. I uh, hope you stick around for the ride. Okay, they didn't get us. Can't see anything. Great. You can make the exit. You can make the exit. Alright, we're out of here. I don't know what you have to do to fire the... um. Find the bail on mission button. Oh no. Um, you just have to get your guys there and hope? Probably. Because um, they're completely out of cover here. Um, yeah. At least it's not like the original XCOM where, you know, you just get shot as soon as you get off the ship. I managed to get halfway across here before I started getting absolutely freaked out. I mean, I, I'm freaked out. I imagine that my teammates are all. You know, my, uh, my squad members are pretty much all ready to just, like, poop themselves. Okay, I'm in the... I'm in the Sky Ranger, guys. Let's, let's get out of here. How do we leave? Uh, is there a mission option? Yeah, abort mission? All soldiers are inside the extraction zone. Okay, so that's going to hurt, um, but we've done what we think we had to do. And we didn't take any casualties. So, um, this is x -Tom. That was a rude awakening. And uh, now I'm going to go see uh, whether, that's, whether that's supposed to happen or not. Because, yeah. Well, we got a little bit of meld. We got a little bit of stuff. Alright, um, thanks for watching XTOM, I'll see you next time.